Patricia the Goblin was a very depressing bitch. Thankfully she dealt with it by being a bitter asshole. She even is making me write swear words in the first 30 seconds of the video. Fuck you, Patricia swore as she ran over a bunch of sweet elderly midgets with Down syndrome. Gasp, gasp the narrator that's not appropriate Patricia. Especially not at the beginning of the video. Oh go shit out some dicks and cry me a river you pussy. Patricia scoffed they looked at me funny so they deserved it. That's not nice Patricia. The narrator narrated. Tisk tisk. Shut up they look too happy and I was jealous of all their chromosomes. Dot dot dot, the narrator said out loud. Okay was that really necessary? Patricia grumbled you're not even supposed to talk to me. Naughty little cunt breaking the fourth wall you little rebel. Well maybe you shouldn't have taken all those drugs you bought from that sketchy confused looking green salesman. The narrator scolded. Ha ha yeah silly me. Patricia chuckled oop, she ran over some more screaming speed bumps. Well get out of the road, if you don't want to get flattened, assholes. Patricia hollered. Um, that was the sidewalk. The narrator corrected hesitantly. I thought I told you to fuck off, Patricia snarled. She was starting to lose her patience. I can't fuck off, I can only fuck on. The narrator cackled. I hate you. Patricia growled that's my joke you are stealing. That I rightfully stole first. From not you. Twat aspas bitch stupid fuck nugget. Patricia was so angry about the narrator that she decided to go shopping at the drugstore in the free drug aisle. I can't wait to snort all of these and butchug all of these free drugs tonight. Patricia the Goblin announced loudly as she left the store. Ma'am those items are not free. A very serial figus looking employee raised their finger nervously. You need to pay for those. Patricia turned back and gave a smile with her weird pointy teeth and breath that smelled like a dog that just finished licking its butt and other dog parts. My narrator said I could have these for free and anything my narrator says goes. And I'll have you know I will be paying tonight when they all hit. I did not say that. The narrator sighed. And a few minutes ago everything I said did not go, as you say, Patricia. Shut up, you whiny little slut. Go be a spoiled princess somewhere else if you don't like it. The employee at the store misunderstood the conversation and broke down in tears. I wasn't even talking to you for a fuck's sakes. Patricia grumbled. Grow a skin and just take a bunch of drugs like the rest of us. She rolled her eyes and left. Yeah, eat a dick with cocaine on it. Jeez, you're really killing the mood. The employee that looked like Archer told off his distraught co-worker. I feel you only use me to get away with whatever you want. The narrator pouted. I don't even think you care about my feelings. Patricia face palmed with exasperation. Seriously, could I not have made that any clearer? Nah, I bet you really do like me and you're just very sun dear. The narrator said aloud to Patricia. No. Patricia felt very done. No, I really don't like you and you are really annoying and I wish you would fuck off already for the love of our good ogre lord Shrek. She ran over a few more humans to pronunciate her anger. Yeah, whatever lol, the narrator chuckled. Okay, I will be back when you are done being cranky. Well, actually, probably before that. I get bored. Oh, hell no, no, don't come back. Patricia shouted. But it was too late because the narrator had already decided.